It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Chris Wright, who is the head men's basketball coach for the Langston Lions, a coach who has led his team in his first season to a record of 31 and three. Coach, an, a fantastic season. Sooner Athletic Conference regular season champions, tournament champions. You make it all the way to the round of 16 in the NAIA tournament. Uh, just let's start there. And again, congratulations. Talk about this year. Hey, Joey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, for having me. Um, yeah, I was I was really proud of what our uh, you know what our guys were able to achieve this year. Um, obviously, taking over a program that had won one game in the last two years, to being able to you know be ranked as high as number three in the country and win thirty one games, and you know also win the Sooner Athletic Conference for the first time. I think uh, you know again, a remarkable achievements that you know our guys deserve a lot of credit for. Now, winning the, the Sooner Athletic Conference in and of itself is no small feat. Uh, you just add that into a number of other things that have been a part of this turnaround. And it's been a, an amazing turnaround, a 30-game turnaround from, as you mentioned, one game to 31 wins. The, the mathematics themselves don't allow for that to happen very often. I mean, it takes a very special situation just to even allow for something like this, which if it's not the biggest turnaround in college basketball history, it has to be among the top. Uh, talk about turning around a program like that. Yeah. So, you know, everything that we found, you know, at least at the division one and two level, I think like uh, 19 games was, was the record. And so, um, you know, for us to be able to completely kind of just, just change the program in one year, I think was again, something you don't see a lot. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, you look back and, you know, definitely thankful for all the accomplishments, you know, that we had, it's just kind of unfortunate, right. Losing to Georgetown in the sweet 16, um, you know, kind of puts a, a bittersweet uh, taste in your mouth, you know, to, to end the season, though. Well, I guess that's one thing that you take with you into the next year, and I want to talk about that just a little bit here in a moment. But uh, before we go too much farther, uh, the honors came in, and rightfully so. And among those, the Jack Bennett Man of the Year Award, and uh, that award is given uh, due, it's to, due in no small part to winning with integrity. Congratulations on that award, Coach, and, and talk about that. Thank you. Um, you know, I personally, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of, right, of individual awards. Like, right, coaches that, that win awards, they often have really, really good teams or they wouldn't be winning anything. And so to me, it really is a, uh, you know, it's a team award. You know, you hear that a lot. Um, and so not to be cliche with it, but, you know, my assistant coaches are really, really good. They deserve a lot of the credit for this, as obviously, as well as our players do. Um, and then if, you know, when you look at everything our administration has done to help us be successful, um, they deserve a lot of that credit, too. And so I think, you know, ultimately, it's just a testament to everything that we were able to achieve collectively this year. We're speaking with Coach Chris right here on the Summit on Midwest Sports Net. I encourage you, please continue to enjoy videos here on the channel. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach, I'll drop one more honor then. HoopDirt.com, Coach of the Year as well. Just I said it, you didn't have to, so I took care of that for you. But uh, we look then, and, and one of the, the big pieces of news that has come out in recent weeks from the Langston Athletic Department was the fact that your contract had been extended to 2027. Now, that's not something that, well, you used to not hear about it very much at all in small college sports, and I still don't think you hear about it that much. Langston did exactly what it needed to do and to secure your services there at Langston for another few years. It, not just, by the way, for what you did on the court, but also academic achievement as well, because your team did well in the classroom. You know, it is, uh, yeah, I guess, kind of beyond my wildest dreams as, as far as that goes coming in um, in our first year, able to, you know, kind of receive a contract extension like that. Again, I think it speaks to the uh, commitment level of, you know, of our administration. Um, and so, you know, I know my wife probably would have uh, divorced me if we moved again. and so. Uh, she she might have been the, uh, the 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 happiest out of everyone, but no, this is this is you know quickly turned into home for us. We love it here. Um, everyone here at Langston has been, you know, above and beyond, um, you know, kind and supportive to us. So we're we're happy to continue to to represent Langston University. Coach, I appreciate you bringing the family in there too. I have some stories about coaching and and how it involves my wife, so I know that that we all do, and that that's an important factor. It really is an important factor. Uh, you talked about the the team and and that it's important that you have a good team to be able to, uh, you know, achieve the the things that you all did this year. Among those on that team, Tristan Harper 
who was recently named an NAIA first team All-American. He was the Sooner Athletic Conference Player of the Year as well. Uh, can you talk about him? Yeah, so Harp, I believe, was actually the second um, first team All-American in the history of Langston. And so I'm extremely proud of him. Um, obviously, what he did on the court, um, you know, was tremendous. But I think more importantly with with him is just the growth that he was able to uh, sustain um, throughout the season. So, you know, when we talked earlier, we'd mentioned how he was actually in our old conference when I was at Talladega. And, um, you know, when we got Hart, and he's, he's a, always been a good young man, but like a lot of us, right, has, has flaws. And to see him really um, improve in, in those areas personally, I think has been one of the biggest, um, I don't know, just, I guess, most significant things that I've been a part of. And so, you know, he's going to leave here and go on to play professional somewhere but you know i think i know that god has really really big things for him okay all right coach then let me uh, wrap up our time and again I've, i appreciate it. i always enjoy getting to visit with you and talk about basketball and 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 when you're involved there's always success as well speaking of that though i mean you're going to be in langston for a while longer now 31 and 3 this season you made it to the round of 16 let's bring in the math again because you Mathematically, you can't go too much higher wins wise. They don't let you play that many games. And so, you know, you can build on that. I guess you can make a deeper run into the tournament. If something like that sticks with you a little bit, that's something the players will remember as well. What do you do then to continue the success and, and what kind of goals do you set for the next season? You know, I think that, you know, our, our goals for us, they'll remain the same as right as they were this year. You know, obviously we want to win the Sooner Conference. We want to win the the Sooner Conference tur Athletic Conference tournament, and then uh, you know also national championship. And um, you know, I, again, we achieved a, a lot of great things this year. But you know, in, in the back of all of our minds, we didn't finish the job. And so, um, us figuring out how to kind of get over the hump and you know make a deeper run in Kansas City is, um, you know, everything that we do from now until when the season starts is is to have a chance to accomplish that goal. Well, Coach, uh, here's to you all making another trip to Kansas City in 2024. But uh, we celebrate just a little bit longer the season that you all had. Again, 31-3, and three, an amazing turnaround in college basketball, 30-game turnaround from one season to the next. Coach Chris Wright, thank you so much again for taking time with us here on the Summit. It's always a privilege to get to visit with you, sir. Joey, I appreciate you. Thank you so much.